Well, hello. You are in for a treat today, people. <laughs> Actually, I'm the lucky one. You guys are just coming along the journey. So uh, look, we thought that you should go through the same kind of torture that I'm going to go through. No, I'm kidding. You're going to go through the same kind of learning and you're going to elevate yourself and you're going to become better, healthier, wealthier people. Because guess what? The, the gentleman that was so kind and had no idea what he was getting into to uh, train me and Corrine for this incredible walk across Ireland. And we've got some time. We've got some time. He's, he's got his work cut out for him, but he's got some time. Um, like all these great health tips and nutrition tips and exercise tips and all these kind of things that he's saying to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, people need to know this stuff because they're asking me, how's it going? And I'm like, uh, da, 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 da. let me just introduce you. So let me introduce you to the man that's going to keep us going for the next 14, 15 months here. Um, so Raman, welcome to the show, no show. <laughs> right? I'm so confused with the podcast. Welcome. Let's have a conversation. Hi, good morning, everyone. I hope you start your day with full of energy. And uh, I would like to show my uh, excitement to be a part of Deborah's journey to doing uh, this great project, walking 10 marathons in Dublin next year. Yeah. Uh, she's a great speaker. She's a great athlete. She's doing everything from heart and soul. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna achieve more than what she planning for beyond his goals. Uh, I'm here to support her through her, uh, her uh, pre preparing her for this uh, heavy marathon that not would be even easy for athletes, but I'm pretty sure with no problem she's gonna make it. So uh, here we decided to sharing uh, some facts, simple facts from nutrition, uh, from exercises moving forward uh, to be able to support or make a courage for people that uh, might be interested to boost their fitness level, their wellness, to the maximize their health. And even if one person would be able to do so, we believe that our mission is accomplished. All right. I, I love that word mission. How does that word mission keep getting in here? And, um, and you guys, honestly, he's the expert. So if, I, if he says something, I'm just here for the ride on this. So if he says something that inspires you, please reach out to him. Um, you can, you know, you know, send a message back into whatever, you know, this is going to be everywhere. This is going to be on the website. You guys are going to be watching this everywhere through the journey. So um, reach out because he's amazing. Um, and so look, I know that today we're going to be talking about a few different things. So let's get in there. So everybody's like me included. You wake up and you're like, oh man, I'd love more energy. Or, you know, we take, you know, I, I, I take these, uh, circadian rhythm um tablets or chews you know um for you know my my energy um people do all sorts of things for energy and really honestly what is what's kind of the role of energy um from your perspective yes it's a very good question speaking of the energy uh if uh we are talking the one important subject in the health the goodest starting point would be the energy subject. So if anyone uh, would like to optimize their health or regain it, uh, the body energy reserve and production capacity would be the most essential uh, topic. Energy is absolutely essential for optimum health and function. Uh, the healthy cells have lots of energy and uh, energy production capacity. Uh, uh, that means that the difference between the living and a dead cell is the energy production. Mm. Healthy cells have the ability to make energy as needed, uh, while sick or dysfunctional cells have limited or no product productivity of the energy. And in the other side, they might consume uh, more than what they produce. Cells are building block of the human body. We are talking about the 37 trillion of the cells in an adult human. So just to get a sense of what is mean, if you put the, all the cells in the liner uh, format, 
it could it could be travel from here from the uh, from the earth to the sun four times back and forth this wow. is how many cells we have in our body so uh, by talking about the energy every single cell in our body take a part to create uh, the same weight of their uh, the, the same amount of energy with their weight. So every single day, a healthy person produces the same amount of the energy equivalent with their weight. Uh, let's give a reference. Remembering a time when we felt so good, healthy, uh, we most likely remember that we were full of energy, we were not tired or fatigued. Uh, the vast majority of the physical process required the expenditure of the energy, like growths, developments, metabolism, digestion, immunium response, fight or flight stress response, the heartbeat, generation, breathing, uh, and so on, all are the examples of consuming the energy. So the health is tied to the amount of the energy we produce every day. Energy comes from the breaking down uh, the chemical bonds uh, from organic compounds. Speaking of the organic compounds, we are talking about the, uh, uh, the carbs, fats, proteins. Proteins are not preferred source of the energy, but fatty acids and glucose are. There are energy losses associated with the digestion, metabolism and the uh, thermogenesis. And we are talking about like 80%. So wow. we are not totally uh, efficient machines, but also on the other hand, those heat uh, are used for heat regulation in our body to keep the same amount of the uh, heat like 98.5 degree Fahrenheit or 37 degree Celsius. Uh, all energy produced by body are at the cellular level. The vast majority of energy is in the form of the ATP, adenosine triphosphate. It is estimated that, as I said, the body cells produce approximately the same weight in ATP each day. There are only two prime machines, sorry, the mechanisms, that the cell used to produce energy in form of the ATP, the anaerobic and aerobic mechanism, me, metabolisms. Okay. Right. So uh, the anaerobic that don't require the oxygen counts like five to 10% of the whole energy we produce. And uh, the aerobic mm, metabolism uh, stands for like 90 to 95% of the whole energy we produce every day. So the importance of the oxygen in those metabolism is very highlighted. Respiration refers to the exchange of the gases. Uh, organisms obtain the oxygen O2 from the environment, of course, and release the uh, carbon dioxide uh, back as a waste. So cellular respiration would be aerobic transfer to the energy, uh, transfer of the energy from food molecules uh, and uh, because the energy utilized to convert the food energy into the ATP, uh, the importance of the oxygen is to make these reactions is uh, one of the, make the oxygen one of the most important nutrients for our living. Uh, glucose is the most common form of the molecules by adding, uh, uh, I mean, a uh, source of energy. So in the chemistry side, uh, adding a six molecule of the oxygen to a glucose, would be results the six molecule of the water, six molecule of the carbon dioxide, and 36 molecules of the ATP 
the usable form of the energy for our body. Um, so. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. go, ahead. go ahead, I don't wanna stop you. I'm just like, I'm sitting here listening, thinking, first of all, all of the trillions, like all of the cells, you know, I mean, I'm coming at it from just, you know, this average everyday person. I mean, I know some stuff about health, but not to that degree. And I think about everything that we do, you know, how we talk about mindset, how we talk about exercise, how we talk about what we put into our body. And, and so you're, you know, and how everything is energy, right? I don't want to interrupt you, but I was thinking, you know, just how, I mean, as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking how important it is to pay attention to that. And what can we do? I know you've got more to say, and I want to interrupt that, but um, as you're sharing, maybe for people like myself and people that are listening, they're like, I mean, clearly this is your expertise. How do we take that information and inc incorporate that into a busy life of high productivity, multiple, you know, a lot of people have multiple jobs. Um, we know to eat clean, but what does that really mean? You know, what does that really mean? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of, my, my head is spinning with some questions. Not that I don't think you're going to answer them, but I just thought, how do we, how, how do we adapt that? How do we adapt that? Yeah, absolutely. All is about make uh, questions and uh, encourage people to go and search and learn more about this because this is endless science behind these things, but we are yeah. trying to approach very simple and uh, basic things. Uh, that just make that courage and uh, uh, curiosity to go and research and study further. So uh, thanks for your comments. Uh, absolutely, they are all things we know. Most of us, we knew these things, but we might forget or don't care enough anymore. So when it comes again in front of our eyes and we hear those uh, facts, we, hey, hey, stop what I'm doing. So yeah. I knew these things, but I don't use it. So what, what I'm doing really with myself, with my health, tomorrow down the road, I can't blame myself that what happened to me? Why this disease? Why those things happening to me? You should know that why. Because there's a very, very simple things. We're gonna see it in the next videos, how we can avoid like 80, 90% of the disease. And we don't because of neglect of the just following very simple rules or tips of the health and wellness. It's so, so it's, me, yeah, he's no, no, it's so true because even I was having a conversation with a good friend yesterday and uh, they have a condition in their body and they have these symptoms. And, you know, it's interesting, right? Because we have a, a very good long-term relationship, but um, sometimes it's hard to take advice from someone that you really know. You know, I'm like, I'm sitting here like, now that I'm talking with them, I can't send them the video, but um, <laughs> um, because they'll know they're like, oh, nice talking about me. But they they said something that was really interesting to me. So, you know, I just spent the last weekend at an Ayurveda conference and we talk, of course, of health extensively in relationship to disease. And so it always inspires me, but also um, it's almost a little disheartening too, because you want to take that information and drive it into everyone, just like we're going to be getting from your tips. And I hear the, well, I'm eating better than I used to, thinking that that's optimum. And I'm like, no, that's, that's great, <laughs> but here you still are in a disease state. So, um, you know, from your opinion, what are some of the things in case, let's just say that someone's never gonna see any video but this. What are maybe some, some tips that we can give people in relationship to really paying attention to the fact that we are so much energy and that energy is a commodity. People look at energy like, oh my gosh, I want to buy it in a bottle. I want to buy it in a pill. I want to buy it. And look at, I'm a supplement person. I take supplements. I believe in supplementation. That's just me. May not be you, may just be me. You want to get it from your food. I think food's a little different than it used to be. Like I take it from anywhere I can get it. I take it from meditating. I take it from, you know, exercising because he tells me I have to. I mean, all those things, right? And honestly, look at, we're all not perfect. You know, I hire somebody to help me stay on track because my passion is in another arena, right? So um, from your, you know, just if someone's listening to this as a reminder um, to how important it is, what are some things that people can keep doing, 
doing like for me, he's um, when he said, I'm eating better. I'm like, but you can still eat better than that. Your body's in a disease state and you're, that's a problem. So we need to, we need to get even tighter, get even better. But what, uh, is there anything that you can say if someone was not to listen to anything else other than our, this, this, our time together today? Sure. I have it. Uh, I would like to give you one uh, example to finish my words about the energy here. Uh, and for sure, in the next videos, we're going to share more about mm -hmm. those hip uh, tips that yes. you asked. But to answer, to give a very short answer, uh, three important things are very vital for human health, wellness, and to boost it to the max performance. Starting with the rest, the deep rest is very important. Healthy nutrition that we're gonna go through one by one in the next videos, maybe each topic for one video uh, would be the next and exercise and the reason why it's gonna be the next. These three are, are three key golden keys for the health. Mm -hmm. Either of them or lack of e each of them would not be complete the process to optimize or to, to uh, hold or boost our health. So uh, I can't give it short an shorter answer than this, <laughs> but no, let's go perfect. through the whole process. It's a journey yeah. that you go through together with the next videos. And I appreciate that you provide this opportunity for your followers that I believe they wanna, uh, they're going to have some things to think about it. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Well, um, thanks for listening, everybody. We hope that you got some really reminding pieces of information. I know for me, I only thought there was, you know, I, I did not realize it was that many cells that go back and forth. So just those kind of things help drill it in just to stay on the path. So if you're on the path, stay on the path. If you're on a path, tweak that path. If you're not on the path, get on the path get on the path to health. So thanks, uh, Remen, and we will talk again um, next week. Sure. Thank you. Bye for now. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.